I can't help but notice how service-based Oregon tends to be. That goes with that now, um, I'm coming from the perspective of uh, getting gas, which I'm not allowed to get my own gas. I have to wait for the service man to approach me. And also the food pantry where I go to get a free hot meal. They don't let you go into a line and stand at the counter and grab what you want. Or, or even have servers. They don't, they don't have a line. They have tables and, and chairs where you just you have to sit first and then they, they have like a waitress or something serve you. There's a one person that uh, focuses on drinks and then the other person, another person, few people uh, focus on the food. And I've been to, uh, well, I haven't been to a lot of food pantries. I've, I've just been getting into it. Uh, but <clears throat> the three churches in Tillamook, uh, or four, maybe three, that they focus on this, this waiter, waitress, uh, restaurant style. And it really goes along with the theme of Oregon with the, with that service based, uh, um, like help or whatever just just by the mandatory mandatory ga gas stations you see um, I haven't seen that it's not like that in California I've been to a homeless shelter there you have to wait in line and get your food it's I I, th I think it's yeah it, you can get your own food in Washington too I was only at one uh, food uh, pantry place in Washington um, that's when I still had a, a little bit of money I, I was willing to spend when I ran out of food stamps. But as I got more desperate, I, I'm delving into Oregon a little bit more. And, and I have been to a Wisconsin uh, uh, ones like in Rice Lake, Wisconsin, a, a couple of times. And you, you, uh, they don't serve you there either. So, I mean, based on four states, it's Oregon is, uh, they'll serve you. And you, there's no waiting in line. Just like the gas stations. This is probably the only state for the, the gas station service too. Which is, which is interesting. <clears throat> so that's, that's the culture of Oregon. It's, it's kind of forced by the government in ways. And then the culture's just developed its, its own sense around that. And, you know, they, they, they take it in as, as uh, though it's just a normal everyday thing. And, you know, you don't realize how different it is until you've uh, moved around a little bit, uh, traveled and stuff. Um, so that's interesting. Um, I find it interesting too, on another note, uh, my other channel, uh, this this one video, is, is, it's not, you know, none of my videos are pro really profitable or whatever. But this one video, I, I, uh, I watch you now a lot and I... I I happened to be watching when uh, this Maggie Lindemann was um, like responding to her boyfriend cheating on her, and I titled it "Maggie Lindemann's Blows Up Over Her Breakup," and it's gotten like more views than any of my other videos now. I've had a video up that was like number one about my suspension trainer. Uh, that has been up for like four years, and I, th I think her her little videos gone past that at like 4,000 or 5,000 views there's that's that's amazing you know I've, you know I, I can't make a personal video uh, that'll blow up okay but I, I could certainly record one on you now of, of somebody um, who's kind of famous talking and depending on how I title it depending on the situation it can blow up and it's it's not really a big blow up. I mean, we're talking five thousand. I mean, there's people who get a million hits in one day. So it's you know Maggie Lineman isn't exactly a household name or anything. I think she's just an underage teenager, and uh, and and she goes on you now every so often. And I don't I don't subscribe to anybody. All right, I don't pay attention to who is coming on. It's I'm just going on whenever I feel like it and recording everybody uh, who's on in the moment <clears throat> and that's it's just fun I mean I I like to go on it and anyway and I figure what the heck I'll just record while I'm watching and 
and it, it seems, and everybody, and the thing is, everybody can have their own unique view if they do it with my my style of of uh, going on to you now and just recording the top trenders, or you don't even need to record the top trenders. You can record a hashtag and all everybody who's in, involved in that particular hashtag too. You, everybody will get a, a unique, different experience because every second, you know, this, the the broadcasters are saying something different. So it's 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 kind of neat, um, and it's it's definitely not something that'll give me a copyright strike. <laughs>